It is 11.31, and the business meeting of the 73rd West Coast Science Fantasy Conference will be in order. I am Kevin Stanley. I am chair of the business meeting. To my right is Linda Dinneroff, the secretary. What it, the punishment? The yes, and the most valuable person in here, except perhaps for my sake, Lisa Hayes, the official videographer. This meeting is being recorded. Your name and image, or name, name your, your image and voice may appear in this recording. This recording will be posted to YouTube, pr probably on my personal YouTube channel, Kevin Stanley. This is the business meeting of the West Coast Science Fantasy Conference, or WesterCon. It is open to every attending member of WesterCon. If you have a Lost Con membership badge for this year, you are a member of WesterCon. It doesn't matter whether you joined the original WesterCon or, or only Lost Con, you are a member of WesterCon and can vote. There are certain patterns of formality that the business meeting follows regarding uh, recognition, of the, the having being recognized, that is, you, being able to speak. Generally, I will only call on people who have, with, with exceptions, which are one is, is very obvious. Um, for those, are, uh, we generally would ask that you stand to be recognized. There are some of you here for whom standing is out of the question. Raise your hands if, in that case, and we'll call on you. But. Um, how many people, by a show of hands, how many people here would have difficulty standing? Okay, you're the, okay. I don't want to make you stand. I'm just, yes. it, yeah, that's understandable. That, you're, the other thing is, is that while the room is small, we are all wearing masks and very few of us can power through them the way I can. And furthermore, this meeting is being recorded. The soundboard output of this room is going to the camera. And it is unlikely that if you speak without the microphone that you will be heard as part of the recording. Therefore, if you are called upon, I may ask you to come up here and use one of the microphones. All right. Having said that, the first and, as far as I know, only matter of business that this meeting Oh, I'm sorry, one other thing. The quorum of the WesterCon business meeting is 12. There are more than 12 people present. I am grateful that there are not more than 49 people present because ha were that necessary, we might have a real problem. The first and only order of item of business for the business meeting is the selection of site, sele uh, the determination of WesterCon site selection for WesterCon 75, the 2023 WesterCon. For that purpose, to begin the process, I would like to call upon Linda Dinneroff, the head of site selection, to determine the results of the voting that closed at 8 o'clock last night. Okay. <clears throat> we had two rounds of voting. In the first round, Anchorage got one vote. Las Vegas got one vote. Los Angeles, LA, Marriott got one vote. And Tonopah, Nevada got one vote. None of the above received two votes, and so thus we had a total with preference of six votes. No preference, we had nine votes. The needed to elect majority was six, and we did not have a majority. Four. Majority of six is four, sorry. Needed to elect majority was four, total with preference was six. Right, sorry, I, mis okay. I misheard you. I apologize, go on. In round two, there were no votes for Anchorage, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, or Tonopah, and none of the above received two votes. There were 13 with no preference. Therefore, none of the above has won the election, if you can call it that. If there is no objection, the chair uh, we'll ac accept a motion to thank the tellers for their work and instruct them to destroy the ballots. Hearing no objection, the tellers are thanked very much and are directed to destroy the ballots. That means the election results are now final. Well, to probably nobody's surprise, we don't have a Westercon winner yet. We have the duty as a business meeting under the WesterCon bylaws. Sec uh, uh, I, let me let me let me work it through, Ben. I I, I know I, I think I have the I think I have the, the magic words this time. 
Are you going to move? To, you're going to make a motion about committee of the whole, or no. yeah? Okay, Miss, Mr. Yellow, I wanted to give I wanted to give the rules on what happens when no bid. Yeah, uh, requested to please read 316. Okay, I, I'll read it in its entirety, and I'll just go ahead and sit down because there's more of it. The Westercon bylaws has specific rules on this subject. Uh, we don't have a paper program book, so you would have had to go look it up on westercon.org. Section 3.16 of the Westercon bylaws, procedures when no bids, when no bid wins or is eligible. Should no eligible bid gain the needed majority, or should there be no qualified bidding committee, or should none of the above win, a three-fourths majority of the site selection business meeting of the administering Westercon, that's you, may award the Westercon to any bid, or a simple majority of the meeting may decide that they are unable to decide. If the business meeting does not choose a site, the Board of Directors of the Los Angeles Science Fantasy Society Incorporated shall choose a site within six weeks of the close of the administering Westercon. If none of the above wins, none of the bids that were on the ballot may be selected. That is irrelevant in this case. There were no bids on the ballot. A site chosen under the provisions of this section shall not be restricted by any portion of this article except this section, 3.16, and section 3.1, and that is the rule that Westercon must be somewhere in North America west of 104 degrees west or in Hawaii. Don't even mention Australia, please. We have limited time. <laughs> Essentially, under these circumstances, we can pick any place we want to or any committee we want to. And based on the last precedent of which I am aware, which is a, a decade ago, in a sense, we are not selecting a site, but we are selecting a committee to determine themselves a site. They may tell you something they plan as a site, but they are not required to do it any, hold it there. Um, for example, the site, the, the committee we selected a decade ago was theoretically for, uh, for Branzella's restaurant in Williams, California. But we all knew and they knew that that wasn't where we were going to hold it and thus the Westercon ended up in Sacramento. Thus this meeting has to choose a site by a three-fourths vote. Based on our experience a decade ago, the chair suggests the best way to handle this is to go into something known as Committee of the Whole. That would have us in somewhat more informally discuss this as a committee, a large committee of ourselves. The committee can, by any, can take lots of extra votes and ch chat it out, and by majority vote, decide to make a recommendation. The only things the committee can do, basically, is to come up with a recommendation or move to rise and report as a committee back to the business meeting. If we do that, the chair here intends to appoint Ben Yallo to chair the Committee of the Whole to undertake determining this. Once the Committee of the Whole comes up with a recommendation, then the committee can rise, report to itself as a meeting, and then we can take it up, either by three-fourths vote to choose a site or by a majority vote to say, we cannot decide, Losfus, it is your decision. Is there any objection to us going into Committee of the Whole for the purpose of discussing site selection? Hearing none, and before we do so, um, it is my intention, unless there's any objection, to, ha to go ahead and have the, the Committee of the Whole discussion be recorded as a separate recording. Okay. In that case, uh, Lisa, when I, when I do that, we'll switch from one to the other. In that case, we are now, in, we are now moving to Committee of the Whole. The meeting will return to order. Mm -hmm. I, will I will continue once the secretary has caught up. It was uh, 11.59 when we returned to order. No, oh, thank you. I had a typo in here. Ah. Yeah, I probably should have waited until the secretary was caught up to call the meeting back to order. But it's okay, you, know. you can go ahead. All right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the chair calls upon the chair of the committee of the whole to present its report. The committee of the whole 
Having risen as a recommendation, the Secretary of the Committee of the Whole should please read to the Secretary of the Business Meeting what the recommendation is. <laughs> there are two uh, so recommendations, I understand. No, just one. Uh, there were two recommendations made by the Committee of the Whole. One is the Blessed Constitution. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, let me go back up here then. Okay, so the first recommendation was to change the requirement from three quarters of the members attending to, to pass a motion. We, we, let's do it in the, let's do it in the opposite order because we have to do site selection first. I apologize. I should have I should have given you more direction. What is the recommendation of the committee of the whole regarding site selection? The recommendation for site selection is to hang on, let me get back here. To accept Kevin and Lisa's bid to find a location. And the second recommendation? And the second recommendation is to change the vote from a three quarter requirement to a two thirds vote. For selecting a site. For selecting a site. Okay. We will take up the report, the first, uh, the, the second item, you know, that, that item about choosing a site. Before I proceed, as I, am, as I am a party to this, is there any objection to me presiding over this motion? Thank you for your uh, support and uh, confidence in that. It has been recommended by the Committee of the Whole that we appoint a committee consisting of Kevin Stanley, Lisa Hayes, and such others as they uh, may recruit for the purpose of working out a site selection, a site for Westercon 75. This does not need to be seconded as it came out of a committee of more than two people. Is there anybody who wishes to debate this motion? In favor? Against? In that case, a three-fourths vote being necessary to adopt this motion. All those in favor of adopting the recommendation of the Committee of the Whole to create the Stanley Hayes Committee for the purpose of determining the site, working out a site for Westercon 75 somewhere in the valid region, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, raise your hands. Hands down. There being more than three-fourths of the affirmative, the recommendation of the Committee of the Whole is adopted. The committee is impaneled, and so help us, we will do our best to work something out. I will not determine, I will not make any promises on when this will happen, but I'm going to say it's very likely not until, we will not even be able to start until after the first of the year. There's something happening in three weeks eating up all of our time. <laughs> Oh, and also, Ms. Hayes and I are traveling to Worldcon by train and back, so we're going to be on the road quite a bit. Before we proceed, uh, we're, there were people asking for the floor. Uh, did, did you have a Did you have a statement? Okay. Uh, could some someone can this microphone reach you? And and state your name for the for the records. Huh? My name is Sherilyn Thagard. I was curious. Closer, closer to the. Hi, my name is Sherilyn Thagard, and. I would like, of course, Westercon to con continue. And are you going to get together with clubs and see if you can uh, expand and make it so uh, more people than two to four hundred people will be able to uh, attend? This would have been better taken up uh, while we were still in Committee of the Whole, but the answer is probably not. Uh, that would be the responsibility of whoever we find to organize the event. Um, Oh, one other item of record regarding this. As the in-charged committee of Westercon 75, we have come into possession of a small amount of site selection money. We will not be selling or accepting any new memberships for this Westercon 75 at this time. We will hold this money in trust, and one of the things we need to do is find a site fast enough so that the, st the checks don't stale date, but we take possession of the records and work out what to do with it. Okay, any others wishing to speak on this subject before we take up the other motion? The other recommendation of the Committee of the Whole is to amend, what, let me bring up the, my, the actual section again. Yeah. The Committee of the Whole moves to amend Section 3.16 of the Westercon Bylaws by striking out three-fourths and inserting two-thirds. 
Uh, this, if passed by this meeting, Wait, next. Slow down a second. Okay. Uh, if passed by this meeting, then next year's business meeting in Tonem Hall will have to adopt it. A it's two majorities is uh, is required, not super majorities, but a majority being necessary would be necessary to adopt this vote. Is there anyone who wishes to speak in debate on this proposal in in any way, Mr. Kowalczyk? Rick Kowalczyk, he, him. Uh, while this wasn't a problem here, it was a problem, whatever that was, 10 years ago. Yeah. And I think it's, it's the two thirds should be more than enough uh, and we'll just make things simpler. So I urge everyone to vote for this. Is there any person who wishes to speak in opposition to this proposal? Is there any objection to adopting it? Seeing none, this constitutional amendment is, is adopted, first reading and will come before next year's business meeting for ratification. Is there any other business to come before Westercon's business meeting at this time? Hearing none, is there any objection to us adjourning at this time? Hearing none, at 12.06 p.m., we made it just in time and therefore will not have to hold a meeting tomorrow on the schedule and programming will be much happier with us. <laughs> They're hearing none at 12.06 p.m. the West of the business meeting of the 73rd West Coast Science Fantasy Conference is adjourned sine die. Thank you everybody. <laughs>